Shall we tear apart a smoke detector? Maybe we can see why it failed or find parts inside that are salvageable. Um, first, we'll pop the bottom off and nothing interesting. No, yeah, no screws on the bottom. I wonder if, I wonder if, well, I wonder what it's going to take to get this thing open. Oh yeah, oh, it's got a lot of plastic snaps on it. Okay, there we go. Um, still in focus. Yeah, this upper part just has a tray and it's got some kind of a clever lock on it. You can see part of it's here, part of it's over here. It won't close unless the battery is in position. So yeah, you can't just forget to put the battery in it after the battery dies. So that's the upper piece, maybe a spaceship or something. Well, right away we can see this is the sounder that's so obnoxious. Um, we have the chamber. I'm not sure which kind this is. I forgot to look. It's whether it's the radioactive or the, the light. My guess is it's just the uh, blinking LED. Uh, this is the test switch over here, uh, pot, and a chip, which I don't recognize, probably a specialized chip. Yeah, okay, so let's pop this thing out of here and see what's happening below. It looks like there's just some clips. Let's see if I can get it off of here. Well, there's that one. There's that, okay. There's the bottom, and then let's refocus. There we go, okay. So, the bottom, and there's the top. That might not be a bad project box. Okay, back to this. Uh, we've seen this side. Let's look at this side. Oh, wow. <laughs> there ain't much underneath here, is there? Um, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, I see. Well, that's popped off of there. Um, yeah, this is the smoke chamber. And I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to think about trying to fix this because you don't know how it's calibrated. Um, you, uh, whoa, okay. That pops off of there. Yes, so my theory was correct. We have... Uh, an infrared LED or just an LED and then an infrared detecting um, LED. And let's see what I can do to pry that out of there. Nope, it's stuck down there pretty good. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's going to take some force. Um, but yeah, outside of that, there we go. Oh, I can see why this failed. It's uh, kind of an interesting chamber, how they have it partitioned like this so that air, like a draft, just can't blow through there. Um, and like, well, but in this case, you can see, let's see if I can get a good shot on that. Yeah, this is full of dust. Yeah, can you see that where I rub the the dust off of it right there. So this one failed because basically the uh, channel got so dusty that uh, it would no longer it would no longer do its job. It always thought that there was smoke in the way. Okay, well this is kind of a short video because there's not a lot to recover. There's this sounder if you like those obnoxious sounds. Uh, three LEDs, capacitor with kind of short leads. Yeah, two other capacitors with short leads. So, yeah, uh, not much to do with this one. And again, I won't even think about trying to repair it. My, uh, my life's just not worth uh, saving a few bucks. Okay, well, that's it for tearing apart a smoke detector for, <laughs> for all the good it did us. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your electronic endeavors.